So for our indirect scene, we've got our drop of Niagara scene on the slide. So I'm going to take our mix culture, the same thing that we used to streak our plates. We're going to add that to the stain. And then kind of spread the stain out all across the surface of the slide. This is important because we're not going to heat fix this sample. We're just going to let it air dry. So this helps to let it air dry quicker. A couple things regarding timing. Um, if we were doing this experiment in person, um, first of all, I would recommend that you streak the plates first before doing uh, the staining part of the experiment because it reduces the chances for contamination on the plates. Uh, second of all, I would recommend starting with the indirect stain and then allowing it to air dry as you perform the direct stain. So another method you can use to make the indirect stain, um, you can take your Niagara scene stain and put it on the very edge of the slide, like so. Then you can take your loopfuls of culture and then add them into the slide. So then after you have your bacterial suspension in the stain, what you can do is take another slide and then kind of drag it like this to spread it across the slide. So to start off your direct stain, I'm going to take the mixed culture. It's the same as um, we used to streak the plates. Take it and then take a loopful. I'm actually going to use two loopfuls and spread it out kind of around you know, the middle third of the slide. Wherever you do end up spreading the sample, um, it's helpful to mark it off, to mark off the area. So what I'm going to do is use this wax pencil and just draw little boundaries roughly where I've streaked out the sample. So this way I know in the general area where I should be focusing with the objective lenses. I'm going to let this air dry for a little while and at that point we'll show you how to heat fix it. So for heat fixation um, we'll use our incinerators as a heat source and what you want to do to heat fix the slide is to just take it and kind of pass it over or hold it over the incinerator like this. Um, and what's going to happen is the heat from the incinerator is going to cause the cells to adhere to the slide a lot more strongly than they would if we just air dried it. So then after we heat fix the slide, we'll add our methylene blue, which is our direct stain. What you're going to want to do is cover the sample area with this stain and then let it stand for um, 30 seconds to a minute. So then after you let your stain sit for 30 seconds to a minute, take it and just wash the slide gently off with water. Not trying to blast it off or anything, just do it gently. Now after that, um, to dry off the slide, take a paper towel or a Kim wipe, either works, and just kind of touch the edges gently. So kind of like just blot it dry. It's important right now that you're not wiping off the slide really really hard on here because if you wipe off the slide there's a chance you'll wipe off the bacteria as well so just kind of just touching it is most important. 